Hello campers, welcome to another day of learning at camp. So today we're gonna to continue our lesson from yesterday, which is ask and answer questions about key details in a story. Now, when we're asking and answering questions, we always wanna think about these key words as stated yesterday. Who, when, why, what, where, and how. And again, we ask these questions to help us understand what we read. And we use the text to help us find our answers. Now, what are some reasons to ask questions? One, if you are curious about something. Two, if you want to predict what will happen next. Three, if you want to make something more clear. And the goal is to always be able to retell what we read. Now today, I made you a story. As promised, Buzz is going to be my helper this week, so I decided to make a story about him. Okay. The story is called Buzz Looks for Woody. I'll place Buzz here as we read. Where can he be, asked Buzz, as he checked under the bed and behind the laundry basket. Buzz could not find his best friend, Woody, anywhere. He started to get worried. He decided to leave Andy's bedroom and look downstairs. While going downstairs, he ran into Mr. Potato Head, having a snack. Have you seen Woody? Buzz asked Mr. Potato Head. He went down the stairs to the left. Buzz realized where Woody was, the backyard. Now we're gonna utilize our who, what, where, why, and when to answer these questions. Who is Woody? Okay, let's go back to the story to answer this. We have Woody here, so let's underline his name here. Buzz looks for Woody. Look how the title is helping us already with our answer. So, so far we know that Woody is somebody that Buzz is looking for, okay? So now let's go back to see where else do we see Woody's name? Based on those clues, already we know that Woody is Buzz's friend, okay? So now we can go ahead and answer our question. Who is Woody, okay? Based on the clues, we know that Woody is a friend of Buzz, okay? So let's move on to number two. What does it mean to be worried? Okay, underlining our keywords. And let's go back to the story and go ahead and find our word here. Okay, now my second graders, you're gonna take this a little bit deeper and you're going to give me synonyms, which are like words that are related to worried. Okay, and then we'll discuss. He started to get worried. Hmm, what does that mean to be worried? Think about, think about a time you have been worried. Why is he worried? Okay. We know that he's looking for his friend, Woody, and he could not find him. So now, let's think deeper. Worry, he started to get worried, so he decided to leave Andy's bedroom and look downstairs. Is it possible that worried can mean scared? Think about that. Is it possible that worried can mean hmm, maybe a little antsy or anxious? Yes, both of those, all three of those words actually mean worry, okay? So that answers our question for number two. Number three, where is Buzz? That's one part of the question. And as we can see, there's a second part to this question. How about Woody? Where is Buzz? Okay, so now let's go back to our clues. Buzz is here. Okay, he's looking behind the laundry room. Where do we usually keep our laundry, our laundry basket? Okay, maybe in a laundry room or in a bedroom. So, so far those are our two choices. Okay, but then later on it says, he goes downstairs. Can we make an inference and say maybe he is in a bedroom? So that answers the question for part of the question for number three. 
that Buzz is in a bedroom. Now we have, how about Woody? Okay. Now if we keep reading here about Woody. Have you seen Woody? Okay, Mr. Potato said he went downstairs and Buzz realized where Woody was. The backyard. So that gives us our answer for number three. Number four, when did Buzz go downstairs? Okay, we already have our keyword here underlined. So now let's read that sentence that includes that word. He decided to leave Andy's bedroom and look downstairs, okay? So we can say that he went downstairs because he could not find Woody in Andy's bedroom. Number five, why is Buzz looking for Woody? Okay, so this is one of the questions um, we have to make a prediction. Um, yesterday we talked about what it means to predict, which, is me which means to tell the future. Okay, let's tell the future a little bit. Why is Buzz looking for Woody? Is it possible that he's looking for Woody because maybe they, he wants to play with Woody? Maybe they had um, a play date or maybe they set up an appointment to, to um, play with each other? Um, or maybe he just looks, he's looking for him because he's worried? Okay, those are all options to why Buzz might be looking for Woody. Okay, so again, my friends, we ask questions because we're curious. We ask questions because we wanna make a prediction and we ask questions to make something more clear. And also remember when a text has pictures, we also wanna ask questions about those pictures. Okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember to always believe in yourself, stay safe, and I will see you soon.